Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, as you can see, a bit of a different setting this time around. Um, we're super excited to uh, share what, we're, what we've got going on. Um, behind us, you'll see the trailer and we're um, doing our first take at a tiny home. So really excited um, to do it. We've, we've been talking about it for a while and, and now we've got the opportunity uh, to do that. So um, it's gonna be built for like a couple. It's gonna be a luxury stay. It's going up on the mid North coast, which is about five hours away. Um, and it's gonna be uh, placed right on uh, a creek there. So it's an awesome location and um, yeah, purpose built for a uh, luxury stay off Airbnb. Um, yeah, so it's gonna get a deck built off it in place. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be quite a comfortable, practical, uh, eco-friendly little tiny home. So um, yeah, really excited to, to share that one with you. As you can see, I've done myself a bit of mischief. I won't be on the tools on this one, but I've um, got some mates and local builders who have opted to help out. So yeah, really grateful for that. So we've got Ryan, uh, Joel and the apprentice Lockie um, taking this one on. Um, so it's gonna be a three part series. Um, we're gonna share the whole build process with you guys. Um, yeah, and yeah, really excited to, to, to be able to do that. Um, this is day one, so that's where we're at and um, can show you guys what we've done so far. Alrighty, so yeah, here we are, day one. The trailer got delivered yesterday. Um, so this morning we just had a bit of a, a site set out, uh, run through of, of the whole build. Um, and as you can see, the, the boys braced it up. As the floors, we compacted as much as we could. It's still a little bit soft. So we've popped some braces in, some props in, and we've got it um, nice and level now. And that's something that we'll keep checking throughout the build as more weight gets added to. Um, so yeah, so we've packed up the pretty much the living kitchen area and bedroom. Um, and at the front of the, the trailer here, you can see that's where our bathroom will be. So we've actually got that step down so that it will come through flush and there won't be a, a step up essentially for when our tiles go down, it'll all come through uh, nice and level. Um, so yeah, the boys have pretty much got all the, the flooring down um, and setting out now for, for some, uh, some frames. So yeah, it's a, it's a good day one. And um, yeah, happy with how it's all coming.
day three, the boys are into it, frames are up, both ends are braced, got it set up for the big beams that go across all the way through that because there's heads of the windows and the doors as well, but tie it all together, uh, tie the whole structure together as well. Some internal frames to go, but it's looking pretty good. Guys, here we are. This is after day six. So all frames are up. We brace each end. We've got some rod coming down all the way through to tie it all together, keep it nice and solid. Our beams are in, rafters up, battens on. Internal frames are in as well. So this would be bathroom in here. So we've purposely packed the flooring up so that when we can uh, put our tile, uh, our bed down for our tile, waterproof, etc. It'll just be a nice uh, continuous, uh, you know, flow there. It won't be a step up or a step down. It'll just be, it'll come through quite nice. Kitchen will be across here. We'll have a nice little built-in couch over there. Some bookshelves either side with like a barn style door across, across the entry into the bedroom there. Um, and then some overhead shelving. Uh, so open, nice timber shelving probably above that kitchen window there. Big sliding door at the front entry point here. Coming together good. Getting all braced up. Ready for our roofing and uh, get set up for our external cladding. It's coming together really well. We've uh, continually checked sort of how we're going for level, bracing it up and it's been good. Uh, supporting it off the floor. But yeah come together really well. So here we are, tiny house almost ready for lockup. Uh, sarking's on, boys are just putting some flashings on now, getting ready for uh, to put our cladding on. Coming together really good.
Hey everyone, welcome back. Liam here from Free Home Fit Outs. We are at our tiny home. So this is the progress where we're up to now. We're at lock up um, and it's pretty, yeah, it's been pretty awesome uh, process so far. We've used uh, our Color Bond product. Uh, it's the first time we've actually used it and we're really stoked um, on the overall finish of it. It's a monument matte finish um, and just the simplicity of it, um, the clean lines that when you stand back and look at it, um, come up really, really good. And having a, a finished product where you don't have to maintain is, um, it's pretty cool. So we're super stoked with that. Um, so this is the, obviously the front side of the tiny home. When, when it gets dropped off, we're gonna build a, a nice long deck off it uh, in place. There'll be like an outdoor bath sort of at the back end of the, um, off the master bedroom area on this front side of the deck. Um, all our services will sort of go on this front wall of the tiny home. Um, and then down pipes and all that sort of stuff will get connected uh, up in place w when we drop it off. So can't wait to get stuck on, uh, stuck into the inside, which will be the part two uh, build of, of this series. Um, so thanks for watching. And yeah, if you're keen to sort of see what we do and, and how the interior of the tiny home comes together, then uh, stick around and we'll hopefully start um, the insulation and bits and pieces this week. And um, that video should be coming out in the next coming week. So uh, stay tuned for that one. Thanks. Thanks.